Uh, I don't know uh, art, but I know what I like. You heard that expression before, but I don't know if anything's valuable at all. You take a peek at this. You tell me whether you think this is valuable. Uh, what I need is Rob Cowley, Canadian art expert and um, founder of Consigner Canadian Fine Art. He's hosting free, free art appraisals uh, this coming Friday. He's joining us now. Um, good morning. Good morning, Steve. How what are you? is it about art that, um, that everybody who just puts up something they bought, and no offense, home sense, Mm -hmm. has that versus an original piece mm -hmm. of art. Well, buying what you like is very important. Mm -hmm. Buying something that speaks to you is very important. Yeah. Um, and art appreciation, I mean, it comes from experience. It right. comes from attending, uh, you know, going to art galleries, going to auction previews as well. We're at, you know, we're across the street from the AGO. We have previews on this entire month for our May 31st live auction. Mm -hmm. um, and you can look at the art at consigner.ca as well. But it really is just surrounding yourself with the art and really kind of learning what you like. Okay. Um, and based on certain factors, we're able to, to kind of come up with what the value on that could be is it on fair the market. For, is it fair for me to say um, that parents, even if they're not into art as such, it, they, it, would, it, be, it would behoove them to have their children go, even Definitely. if they're not into Definitely, without them, a doubt. Right? It's a great experience um, for children. Um, you also, I mean, with, with art as well comes history. I mean, these are two works by members of the Group of Seven. Whoa! Um, yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. The two. <laughs> I had no idea. An association of painters, incredibly important to, um, to Canada's history. Um, the work on the right is, is a work by, right, um, by I'm way. sorry, the work on the left no. it, it is a work by Lauren Harris, um, perhaps the most celebrated member of the Group of Seven. Absolutely. Uh, very notable at this point because, of course, there is an exhibition of his work traveling through the United States, coming to the AGO. It's co curated by Steve Martin. So, of course, his work is. is on the international stage currently. I, I forgot about that to mention that. Of and course. then a work by A.J. Casson. Now, this is now the difference between some of the factors we look at for valuing works of art are um, the period of the work. Um, the work by Lauren Harris is from the Group of Seven, the period when the Group of Seven were an association. So it carries a certain value. Gotcha. The work by Casson, a fantastic work by Casson, they're both originals. This is a little bit later, a little bit later in Casson's career. Casson was a younger member of the Group of Seven and lived um, um, and was the last living member actually as well. So they're both both valuable paintings, both in our May 31st live auction. Um, the value difference though comes from many factors. This painting actually, the Harris comes from Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, we picked it up ourselves. Um, it hasn't been on the market in over 80 years. Whoa. And so that plays a factor. It is also the preparatory work for several canvases, several larger works, one of which is in the Vancouver Art Gallery. So all those so there's factors. There's a whole history. The whole there really story is. That, tells. Okay. that all plays a big, so big role. I don't want to get into the particular dollar value. Sure. Really? Because that's not, well, mm -hmm. it's stunning, but not important. So uh, I, would, I would guess that this one was more valuable than this one. You're correct. And oh, I'll yeah. tell you, just out of interest, um, between twenty dollars and $25,000 for the Casson, yeah. uh, four hundred dollars to $600,000 okay. for the Lauren Harris. There you go. Yeah. So All a very right. important painting by Lauren Harris, but a great painting by Casson right. as well. Okay, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you that way because uh, Pooja is going to take it from here. Pooja? Hi, Pooja. How are you? I'm good. I've been actually staring at both of these works of art, and I'm trying to th figure out whether this is a trick question, because when I see this right away, I'm like, there's no way that this can be as valuable as this. But then I see the name there, yes. Maud Lewis. I'm like, I've heard of this name. Uh, Canadian artist, Canadian right? Canadian artist. She's a Nova Scotia artist. Um, there's actually a movie about Maud Lewis coming out this summer, which Ethan Hawke is starring in. So very well known on the international, uh, uh, certainly on the national stage. She was an artist who lived in a shack in Nova Scotia. She's, she became very famous when a, um, when a documentary on CBC ran in the 1960s. She sold her paintings for $5 each. They now sell for thousands of dollars. Wow. And this is a painting by Manly McDonald, an Ontario painter. Subject matter is one of the factors that, that plays a role in valuation. The subject here, this is very typical for Manly McDonald, but this is actually a scene um, north of the city where the Varley Art Gallery stands now in Markham. So a, again, it speaks to individuals from that area and in Toronto as well. So that plays a role. For, and this is, I should say, with the Maud Lewis, this is subject matter that is, uh, is typical of hers. One of her most famous scenes, which she repeated, well, uh, were the three black cats. Okay, so if I had to actually guess which one was worth more, because you said back there with the Harris that it's also period plays into it as it well. Does, yep. Here it actually has to do with the subject. It does. But this used to be not worth as much, but now it's worth a lot more. Uh -huh. She's getting a lot of attention. I, I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. It's very close. This is between six and eight thousand dollars in our May 31st auction. And now the Man McDonald's a bit larger as well. That's between eight and twelve thousand dollars. Wow. Auction. Yeah. So two great examples by the artist. Uh, it's May 31st, the auction at the Berkeley Church. Very cool. Pre okay. I think uh, Steve needs back. you again yeah. over there. I will. Thank you very much. Don't, don't want to tire you out there. No, not at all. all it's right, good work there out. We go. Okay. First thing, first thing we're going to do, come over here. 
Okay, we're going to look at this one. Here's a, a piece of art which I don't know if you've seen before. Have you? I have, yes. Okay, fine. There we, there is this one. What is this called very quickly? This is a, a work by William Curlack called Stop Thief. He's a prairies artist. Okay. Uh, and over here, compare it to this one here, which is by David Irvine. There we go. That's an original piece of art that, well, I won't tell you where we got it, because mm -hmm. you'll have to guess. Okay, we got it from our boardroom. Yep. It was hanging in our boardroom. <laughs> All right, uh, based on, uh, on these two, uh, I would like you to guess which one of these is more valuable. Well, I am cheating because the Curlec comes from our auction. So I know the Curlec carries, I do know David Irvine as well. Yeah. So I do know the Curlec, Curlec is, has, his work hangs in the AGO. That painting is valued in the tens of thousands of dollars. Okay. The David Irvine, um, he paints thrift store, on top of thrift store paintings, they're fantastic. Um, and I know he does sell them, I think on Etsy, um, in the hundreds, even the low thousands of dollars. So okay. the Curlec could be a little bit more. I think you might be right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> David, thank you very much. Uh, tell us um, really quickly the yeah. auction at the um, end of the month? The auction, May 31st at the Berkeley Church. We're okay. previewing at 326 Dundas the entire month of May, and then we have the valuation day that's taking place this Friday. Okay. Um, uh, RSVP at consigner.ca, and uh, an appointment is recommended. Wow, um, you know, you, the rest of you, you can turn off the television now if you think you have to learn something new in each, each and every day. You probably learned a bunch. Go by. Anyway, Pooch, come on over here. Bring in, yeah, this, this is another oh, one. I wanted to show you that, but. Uh, Mika Madolo. Yeah. Oh, this so one. a well known artist then. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that would carry sentimental value. Yeah. Yes. Well done. It's priceless. It's priceless. It's priceless. Exactly Rob, you have it. a way with words. I love it. Yeah. We'll be right back. Stay with us.